Sample space diagrams are used to help list the possible outcomes of two events. For example, we could list the outcome from flipping two coins. We're either going to get a heads or a tails. So we show those with H and T. And that will be the same for the other coin, heads and tails. So if we get two heads, we'll get H, H. If we get heads and tails, B, H, T. Tails then head, or tails, tails. So our diagram shows us that there are four outcomes, but heads and tails, and tails and heads, are essentially the same thing. We've just decided to do them in a particular order. So we can use this diagram to help us answer probability questions. For example, we could look at the probability of getting one heads and one tails when we flip two coins. So if we look in our diagram, you can see there are two places where we get a heads and a tails, which means there are two out of our four, which simplifies down to a half. So that means the probability of getting one heads and one tails when you flip two coins is a half. Okay, let's have a look at a slightly harder example. We could also create a sample space diagram that shows us what happens when we add together the score on two dice. So if we roll one dice, we can get one, two, three, four, five, or six. And obviously we can get the same numbers on the second dice. Four, five, and six. Okay, so here's our diagram. And now to work out what goes in the middle, we just add together these two numbers. So one plus one makes two. One plus two makes three. One and three is four, five, six, and seven. And you can see it will start to make a nice pattern. So it's nice and easy to figure out what goes where. The strength of a sample space diagram over maybe making a list or something similar to that is it's nice and clear what goes where and when you need to work out the probabilities at the end, it's nice and simple to see which numbers you need to look at. So just fill this in. It'd be obvious if I made a mistake because you'd be able to see where the pattern doesn't quite line up. 11 and 12. So there we go, that's my finished sample space diagram. And you can see that it's 6 by 6, which gives us a total number of outcomes of 36. And again, we can answer probability questions about it, like what's the probability of getting 10? And you see that there are three tens in the diagram out of 36, which simplifies down to 1 over 12. So the probability of getting a 10 when you add together the score on two dice is 3 over 36, or 1 twelfth. Uh, we could also answer what's the probability of getting a number that is greater than 9. And here you see that there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers greater than 9 in our diagram. Again, out of 36, which would simplify down to 1 over 6.